Let's check out the rankings here. We are in rank 51. We have New in rank 34, and then we have Syndicate in rank 44. Here are the defenses that they are running. They have this mix LB Tower. Then they have this Miyang or 28 speed lead. Escher Tower, another LD Tower here. A lot of whales. And then we have this Tinky Slow Nagong Tower. We got a Chandra Byung LD Tower. We have a Kumar Gapsu Brita. A Clara Chilling Emily Tower. And then for the last one, a More Savannah Tessa Tower. For the first hit of the day, we're going to hit one of my viewers with Miang, Draco, and Teor. This team has worked out really well. Thank you, Pierce Stinky Mage. I stole it from you. I don't know if you guys have noticed recently, but I've been cleaving as much as possible just because it's so much fun and I don't have to deal with RNG. As you'll see later on in the match. So we're going to go ahead and boost up here. Getting that attack buff. Okay, we got the defense buff. But getting the attack buff helps out a lot. Not necessary, but it helps out. And then with the Miang, we should be able to kill whether she gets the attack buff or not. Now all we have to do is 3v2 these guys, land the freeze on the moor, and then yeah, it's pretty much a wrap. I do like putting minus fire on the Draco because the Tessa could potentially kill the Draco. Not too concerned about the moor. And yeah, now all we have to do is squall this dude. Pretty tanky, but he will be going down. Sorry, Kylie, your defense got wrecked. GG's. For the next attack, we're going to pretty lean double snipe this Kumar Gapsu Brita. I think I end up sniping the Kumar and the Brita leaving the Gapsu alone. Let me know what you would focus on. I think that's probably the best choice. The Kumar does have the soul potential. Unless it was a Covenant, then maybe I would leave the Kumar last. But again, the Gapsu PTSD kicks in. I was kind of worried here. We're going to boost up though. Should be able to kill both of these units, no problem. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we do kill. She does take a lot of damage off though with a passive. Now it's a 3v2, the Gapsu is proccing. This is why I like to cleave so we don't deal with this. Even though we still got to deal with it. And let's see if we get the pushback. I also have a question for you guys. Let me know your thoughts on the bounce patch. I'll talk about it a little bit later when we get to the Zyros. Now we're going to use the Covenant one. I still do the same thing. Snipe the Brita and the Kumar, leave the Gapsu for last. Not too concerned about him. Now that I haven't really been bruisering, I can't really have my yap session. So I have to have like a really quick yap session about the balance patch thing. So we're going to go ahead and boost up here. We should be able to snipe the Brita again. Okay, damage reduction. It's crazy. We're going to snipe the Kumar. 62k. Now we got to kill this dude. But yeah, briefly, I think the balance patch is trash. I do like the buff to Zyros. I do like the buff to Tyrannus. Why do I say it's trash? Well, it's not really doing much to solve anything in RTA or Siege. Let me rephrase that. It's not that it's not solving anything, but it's not making any huge differences. They're making slight differences, but it's not anything that's going to really impact the game, which sucks. I want a huge shakeup because they're so scared. For the next attack, we should be able to easily cleave this one. The Sonya kills the Byung, the Miyang kills the Carcano. And then we just 3v1 that Camilla. But yeah, back to the balance patch Yap Sesh. I think that a lot of the LDs that were buffed, like, it's nice. But it's not like everyone owns a Celia, so it's not going to affect a lot of people. I'm looking for a patch that's going to affect a lot of people. And this is an example, so don't hate me. But imagine they nerf a Sonya or a Water Siri. That would be a shakeup. A lot of people would be mad, but that would be a shakeup. And it would affect a lot more people than a Celia. Now again, I'm not saying that Sonya should be nerfed, but I'm saying we need some sort of shakeup like that to spice up the game because it's really, really boring at this point. For the next attack, we're going to Joltando Volution this Chandra, Byung, and Giselle team. I keep trying to think what units were buffed and nerfed in the balance patch, and the only two that I can really think of are the Zyros and the Tyrannus. I think Tyrannus is going to be super annoying now. I'm pretty sure we will start seeing him on Siege defense more often. We might even see him on like inner server, maybe arena. I think he might be using RTA a little bit more. Not too sure because there's a lot of resetters. Now I would say that the buff itself isn't like a crazy buff. 
but it makes the unit more usable and I think a lot more units need that. Not just one or two, like 15, 20 each patch. Now this patch would be fine if we got it every two weeks to a month, but if we're getting it this infrequently, it is not worth it. It's giving me another reason to quit. Again, the main thing is the LD5. If I don't get the LD5, guys, I'm out. And you guys know how much I've been saving. I think I'm at like 40 LD scrolls. RNG is RNG, no matter what. We talk a lot about it in the Discord. If you guys want to be a part of that conversation, go ahead and join the Discord. I'd be yapping a lot in the Discord compared to the community tab. Now, I'm going to try to keep up with the community tab. And for this next attack, we finally are going to use Zyros. Now, I was thinking, should I use Galleon? Should I use my secret tech? We're just going to use Galleon for the sake of using Galleon. If he lands everything, that's good. If he doesn't, then we do run the risk of losing this. I was like, all right, we're going to see the true damage on the Zyros. Put him as a lead. Now let's see how good he is. Alright, so we're going to use the skill 3. Do we land the defense breaks? We only land 2 of them. Can we kill here? 59k and the Kumar survives 1 HP. They proc and proc and proc. Stunning the fucking Tiana. And I am going to delete this game as soon as possible, guys. I can't do this shit anymore. The funny thing about this though was after I saw the first proc, I'm like, he's going to proc until he stuns. And of course he does it. Now what I think about Zyros, I think Zyros is good. Galleon sucks though. So you're probably going to have to stay tuned for the secret tech next time. Now for the next attack, we're going to use Galleon, Bernard, and Julie. So we should be able to cleave it. Whether this dude does shit or not, we should be able to cleave it. I just realized my Bernard hit 220, so that's nice. And uh, I did lie about getting up to 220 on the Dova. I realized that my calculations were wrong by one speed. So we're going to be trapped at the 219 on Dova forever until I get a new upgrade. We land two of the three, but does it matter here? No, because Julie cleaves them. And there we go. GG's. Now for the next attack, we're going to use another one of these. Same rune, same everything. I think this one is also not on swift. Seems like it might be. There's no shield or will. Do we land a defense break? We do land a triple defense break. Can we clear it? We almost kill the cichlid and there she goes. GG's. We're gonna use the wind series for this one. I ended up using the same set on Kali as the last video. I didn't put crit rate on her. I don't have a fast enough crit rate where I can use it for the wind series and the Kali. So I just put the fastest set and we are going to need it because this guy has really high base speed and he outspeeds us, but he doesn't do anything because they're not tuned right. We are tuned right. So we're going to go ahead and snipe the shit out of the Sierra. And now we're going to work on to the Rakan. We did a decent chunk to him. He's going to collapse. He got the triple provoke. If he kills something, it could get a little bit sketchy, but he dies. Now it's a 3v1 against the water Ezio. And all we have to do is kill this dude and it's going to be a GG's. So while we're waiting for this, I do want to say that I am going to be camping this weekend. So there might or might not be uploads depending on if I have time to record a few more videos. I have a few videos in mind for you guys, but I'm just super limited on time right now. We did end up winning the siege. We have Cousin in the number one spot. And then I'm all the way down here. We got Jim in the second spot. Now let's go ahead and open up this trophy box, see if we can get anything good. Okay, it's going to be a mana box basically. So after we sell these runes and we collect the rest of the rewards, I'm going to show you guys my scroll count, which is actually pretty high and we still have about two months to go. So we have a lot more scrolls to save. Are we going to get an LD5? I still think I'm not going to get it. I have been super tempted to summon but I know you guys voted no, so I'm going to hold off. Maybe I'll ask again, but most likely I'm just going to save until Christmas. If not, New Year's. We'll see. So here are my choices for the SWC scroll. Am I fully set on them? Not really. The elemental units are set, but the LDs, not too sure. I might switch out to the Giselle. I might switch out the Talisman. We'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, maybe consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing as it really helps my channel out. I'd really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.